What's up, world? Welcome back to Radical Investors, where we talk about investing, stocks, and all the ways to make the money. I'm Wasu. I'm Hamed. And today we're talking about a company where you can buy Rolex watches, Gucci shoes. Yeah. All of that, guys. Let's go. So the company that we're here talking about today is Farfetch. Yeah, that's right. Ticker symbol uh, FTCH. Um, currently, as of today, it's trading a little bit over $50. Uh, Farfetch is a company that is a online platform where you can buy and sell luxury goods. It is the online marketplace for luxury goods. Luxury good like Rolex watches, Rolex, Gucci shoes, Gucci shoes uh, off-white t-shirts. Yeah. Um, basically, this is, all guys, guys, this is not a Rolex yet. It's a uh, Adidas watch, but <laughs> I'm getting to, I'm getting there. That's right. Pretty Visualization. Soon, pretty yeah. soon I'm going to be on Farfetch buying uh, Rolex watches nah, and Gator shoes. Same here. Same here. But um, yeah, so, so we, we like this company guys because it, you know, it's a, um, it's a marketplace. We do like our marketplaces, you know, as, <clears throat> so just to take it back, like they are the leading marketplace for luxury goods online. And their business model is awesome. They have great partnerships right now with basically all of the luxury brands. And they also um, are currently working on their own. They own a, a few luxury brands as well. They own um, oh, Off-White recently and an up-and-comer that's growing in the streetwear uh, side, um, Palm Angels. So this company, their, their first tier of business is their marketplace platform right where you can buy and sell goods luxury goods their second tier is actually owning luxury brands right so i think that's where there's opportunity everywhere guys but like that's one that is really uh distinguishing them amongst their competitors who are also potentially trying to build luxury uh, marketplaces um, i like to liken this to a netflix mm. right think about Myself. netflix well if you look at netflix um, initially they started with, um, kind of just having, um, basically kind of borrowing, right. Um, movies that different studios made and they would cycle from Netflix to maybe an Amazon prime, maybe back to an HBO, but they didn't really own too much of their own original content. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's, and as Netflix started growing, right. That they've invested more in original content because that's a distinguisher, right? Mm -hmm. Like. It, 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 when you can only get exclude these certain uh, luxury brands exclusively on Farfetch, you're really distinguishing yourself from an eBay, from any other one. Adding value for sure. And yeah. one thing that we love, so is the the luxury space, Absolutely. right? We we you know taking a, a step back, we know this economy is kind of going in the K shape. Um, type of way, right? Yeah, Where yeah. The, the top end is getting richer and richer and richer. And there's guys like us trying to get to that top end. Yeah. And there's, you know, there's definitely a bottom end that is um, struggling, right? So you want to find and look for companies that cater to that investment class, cater to that rich Absolutely. Um, group of people that have discretionary income. Yeah. Um, you know, we see this with, with, with homes and luxury homes, Absolutely. right? The prices are during a pandemic, a global pandemic. Last where year. Tons yeah. of working class people have been suffering. Um, the, the housing sales have gone through the roof. Here in Los Angeles, the price of homes have skyrocketed yeah. um, all across the country. The, the price luxury of homes. market was hot in a pandemic. Guys. Exactly. So, right. so if, 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 the, if luxury goods like a house is um, increasing in value in the pandemic, um, imagine things like um, discretionary items like watches, belts, um, shoes, shoes, things like that, that um, luxury investors look for absolutely yeah. and i i would say too like as you know the world constantly gets more and more connected and just more opportunity for more people continue to grow and expand with just all of this technology and just this connectivity happening we're creating more wealth on the planet more people are getting richer right so it doesn't necessarily necessarily mean that everybody right is well i would say that everybody is kind of getting rich as as opposed to accessibility but yeah we're seeing more basically we're seeing more millionaires being created every day we're seeing more billionaires being created every day hence because of several um, opportunities to get to those levels 
and with new wealth comes with new money comes right everybody goes through that uh you know when you hit new money you want to get your jewelry we, we've right all, you want to we've get your all watch. experienced that you know you know to a degree or another right when you get new money there is that experience that you want to experience and you know that's where uh luxury goods are like they're almost like the lowest hanging fruit right before you get that new house you want those new shoes you've always wanted that fresh belt you know to kind of signify your your accomplishments and that you've arrived so it's it's a human thing like that i don't see changing so if the uh if the first principle is that we're going to constantly we're going to see more and more wealth and more and more growth and you have this platform of Farfetch, right? That's like the lead- leaders in that platform. That company is just gonna grow naturally just because of the first principle of just wealth and be more millionaires and billionaires being created. No, 1000%. Right. So yeah, so um, another reason why we like this company too, um, they haven't, they're still kind of, I haven't seen it like really take off yet, but it's an interesting part to their business is this um this create this branding um let's say branding support where they're trying to onboard luxury brands that may not be uh popping yet but they're trying to give them all of the tools and all of the behind the scenes data to actually champion that brand into a luxury brand so it's almost like trying to build in-house luxury brands which i think is um it's kind of clever. I think no, it's very clever. Fantastic. Yeah, you can almost see it like a uh, uh, a venture capital kind of thing in the fashion space, which is um, it's it's clever. It's a good niche. It's something I think that might that the market might not even be acknowledging or anything, but I think there's stuff there. Guys, if you are loving the content that we're making here at Radical Investors, make sure you hit and bless that like and subscribe button. We want you in our tribe of Gucci shoe wearing, uh, high flying, jet setting tribe of investors because we are taking over the internet and we want you with us. Yeah, guys, um, you know, we're looking at the back and we're noticing like a lot of you guys are watching the channel, but not subscribing. Guys, just hit that. It it means a lot to us. So just hit the subscribe button, hit the like, bless the like button, bless the subscribe button, retroprocity guys virtual prosody um and and continue to watch us um links are down below for uh, multiple platforms if you um, are not signed up to them we have Weibo down below we got coinbase we got you know we got a several down there also you can support our channel um via patreon we've got the links down below like always happy hunting we'll catch you on the next one peace, peace.